Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day two of the December League Code Dairy Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, subscribe button join me on Discord. Uh, let me know what you think about today's poem. And usually, so if you're new to the stream, I usually set up this live and also explain it, my process live. Uh, if you're looking for a solution only, um, you know, maybe watch this on 1.5x or 2x or skip to the, near the end. Uh, okay, so today's poem is linked list random node. So given a single linked list, return a node, random node's value from the linked list. You can notice the same probability of being chosen. Uh, what if it's really long and the length is unknown to you? Can you use this efficiently without extra space? Uh, okay, so I don't really have a great way of explaining this without already knowing the answer. The, the fun fact is that actually I, I solved um, a similar version of this problem about like 20 years ago. Um, in this particular case, um, it is basically just called something called reservoir uh, sampling. Uh, my little background about it is that, like I said, about 20 years ago, there's a book called um, maybe Pearl Programming Gems or something like that. Programming Pearl or, or Pearl Gems or something like that. Basically, it's a, a, one of those animal books that had, uh, was focused on Pearl and they have like a one-liner that tells you how to do this, which was... Uh, there was a variation where it it's like okay, we, you know, given that this, given a file, uh, get a random line from that file without, you know, having to go through the the file more than once and so forth, right? So the same idea there, uh, but the, but the answer is gonna be reservoir uh, sampling, and you could prove this to yourself. Uh, but the idea is that of that is guaranteed to be not no. So okay, but um. I don't even think we need to do anything. Um, but yeah, but the idea behind reservoir assembling, and this is something that I recommend reading up the literature as well. I'm going to go over it slightly, but it's probably not going to be as uh, mathematical if you're looking for a proof, because this is a relatively well-known uh, algorithm. Uh, so basically it's called reservoir... I can't spell... Mm. Assembling, okay. Uh, so th basically, th um, yeah, so definitely Google up on that. But the idea is that, okay, and this is me trying to think about implementing and eh, try to be able to explain it to you uh, live. So, um, so it's not going to be as smooth as some other videos you may watch, but this is my thought process trying to remember it. So the idea is that, okay, Instead of, you know, so the, you know, the naive way of doing uh, get randomization would be, okay, you, you try to figure out some N, um, which is the, you know, the number of nodes or something like that, um, or just number of nodes, and that each node has one of N uh, probability of getting picked, right? So that's the basic idea. Um, but now we're trying to reverse the math so that now we're giving... Um, some k let's say we've seen k nodes, number of nodes we've seen, and now this current node has uh, um has one over k probability of getting picked, right? So th the reason why this works is that is that you can actually do the math this way, which is that okay for the or you, you could, I'll, I'll show you a little bit by induction, but basically, for example, when K is equal to one, it has 100% chance of getting picked, of getting picked. And then when K is equal to two, well, it has 50% chance of getting picked. Oops. 50% uh, chance of getting picked. Uh, so the first note, has 100% chance of getting picked, and then the second node has 50% chance of getting picked, but that also means that 50% chance of, uh, uh, so that means that the first node has 50% chance of getting kicked out by the second node, right? Uh, and now, obviously, if you just take a look at this, well, that means that the second node has 50% chance, and the first node is 50% chance, and we're good. 
Uh, and you know, and you could kind of do this more mathematically, but I'm just kind of try, trying to build you the visualization on how I think about it. The first note has 100% chance, and then second note has 50%, as we talked about. Uh, this has 50% chance of getting getting uh, kicked out by the by the second one. Um, and then now third note has one third percent or 33% chance. Yeah, repeating if you want to be. Uh, and this one, in the meanwhile, has 50% chance of getting picked. And then after it gets picked, it has one th or it has one third chance of getting um, kicked out as well, right? So that means that how do you um, hmm, let me think about how to do that math, right? So that means that it's one half uh, times two thirds, right? Um, because that means that uh, two thirds of the time, because one third is getting kicked out, so that um, by the third note, that means that two thirds of the time, um, it's going to keep its current second note, right? So that's equal to one third. In this case, this is uh, one over one times one over two, as we talked about, chance of keeping it, times two to the third, chance of keeping it, assuming that it passed through the second and the third gate. So this, of course, is also one third. Uh, so you could kind of see the pattern a little bit. I'm going to do just one more. Um, and yeah, uh, let's do k is equal to four. I mean, and you know, and here it's going to be uh, copy and paste for now. Uh, but then the fourth node is one fourth, so 25%. That means that this one has 75% chance of keeping it where, uh, if this is picked the first time, it has 75% chance of staying the third node. Uh, another way to write this, of course, is just one third times uh, three fourth, which is one fourth. And of course, this is one fourth. Um, and here, same thing. Uh, so second node, if it has, has 50% chance of getting picked and then has two thirds chance of passing the third node, and then has three fourth chance of passing the fourth node, right? So this again, and you know, you're smart at home. So you could see that the three cancels out and the two cancels out, which is one fourth. And the same here. Um, yeah, and, and that's just this shifting by here, right? So that's basically, um, I know that this is not a mathematical proof, but um, but this is how I w remember thinking about um, the with respect to the uh, invariant. So what I thought about and how I kind of wrote this out for you is that, okay, you know, let's say we only know one thing, which is that number of nodes we've seen, right? How do we modify the math such that this condition holds, uh, that every node gives you one over n chance, or one over k chance, actually. Um, and then with, where when you go over n nodes, it'll be one over n at the end, right? So that's basically it. Um, and that's how I would go at, uh, at, uh, solve this problem. Uh, and that's what you're going to see me do now. So let's just say k is equal to uh, zero, or maybe one. I, I, I may think about it. But uh, so current is equal to head. Well, I think, oh yeah, head is guaranteed to be not no. So we can just do one is equal to while current is not none. We, I might have to uh, double check the off by one stuff, but that's basically it. So current is equal to current dot next. Um, and then now, of course, we have something like, um, oh, uh, I actually don't remember how to do random in Python. So give me a second while I look that. But I think it's just random that random, or maybe I'm thinking of C sharp or something. Random int, okay. Um, random that random int, okay. The with random dot random rent int rather uh, is uh, yeah if this is hmm, wait uh, hmm, sorry this is just me looking up the a API to be honest because uh, I want a number from 1 to k and then get only 1 so uh, I start and then stop. Oh. Okay. So that means that we wanted to start at say one to k. And we want this to be if this is less than or equal to one, this this means one over k. 
um, then we keep this value, right? Keep is equal to current dot well, um, yeah. Keep is equal to current dot well. I think I don't, actually don't need to do this here because k is going to start at one, so it's always going to be hundred percent. But afterwards, uh, after we go to the next, we increment, and then at way end we just return the the number that we keep. So that's basically reservoir sampling and the result. Um, oops, did I not? Oh, oh, okay. So I guess we do need to say self dot head is equal to head. Uh, go to self dot head. Okay. I actually just misread the input output, so that's okay. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I mean, obviously the answers don't have to be matching. Um, it's just about uh the distribution. So let's see if it go. Okay, cool. Uh, so you're wondering at home, you might be wondering how they check mix up. Uh, so because if you just return one every time, it looks random. But yeah, I think what they do is that they they have some distribution checked, so they probably run this like or um if i run get random about you know like a million times say and given a million times all the numbers should be relatively distributed i know there's you may get unlucky but but that's my guess because i usually uh because in the past i have tried to cheat a little bit or just to see what the system was built um and return like the same same number every time and it'll give you the wrong answer and you have to actually get something that's model uh that is distributed in a way uh i don't know how they implement it but but you should at least try to get random um again so what is the complexity for this well we only keep all of one um in terms of uh space we don't really do anything else um in terms of complexity we look at each node once and one pass so it's going to be um you know the lower bound for this um hmm uh if, if you if you want to yeah i mean there, there are other ways to do this of course um and that's where the space complexity may matter uh, in this case we're asked not to do extra space but let's say that we are able to keep linear space then we're able to do you know or one for example for you know in a trivial way and there are other things you can do with um yeah with weighted distributions and so forth uh, okay, so that's all I have for this problem. Um, let me know what you think. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join the Discord. I'm going to do this for the rest of December as usual. So let me know if you have any questions. I will see y'all later. Bye-bye.